Hello, my name is Ted Gothier. I live in Pontiac, Michigan, and I'm a fellow zip builder. And with me, I've got a builder of a squirt. And can you tell us your name and where you live? My name is Art Atkinson, and I live in Bloomfield Village, Michigan. Okay, um, I understand that you built your zip down in your basement. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I built uh, actually my squirt in the basement. And as I decided to build a boat, I had to find something that I could build in my basement and get it out of the basement. And the stairwell uh, coming out through the kitchen was the main constraint. So a lot of calculations. I figured I could do an 11-foot boat, uh, and the squirt was a perfect uh, dimension to get out of the basement. So that's what I went with. You know, one thing that we see with your squirt versus we with all of the other boats uh, here is you have a real cute antique motor. Can you tell us a little bit about your motor that's powering your squirt? Yeah, I got interested in antique motors and uh, in trying to figure out what I wanted to power the squirt with. I wanted something that was able to hook up with the remote steering and throttle and shift and the Mercury Mark 25 seemed to be the perfect fit. So I ended up buying a 1956 Mercury Mark 25 and is in original colors, Sarasota blue and sand tan. Kind of looks like a 56 Chevy Bel Air and I thought that's cool. So the boat was kind of built around that color scheme. I know everybody asks me, uh, you know, what your wife say when you come home with a crazy idea of building a boat. Uh, how'd your wife react when you told her that you were going to build a boat? Uh, I think she was uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, is like, well, that's a cool project. And um, I think she knows from uh, other things I've done that I've got the uh, persistence of uh, taking a project to completion. So it became kind of a family project. and. Uh, where she was with me step by step figuring out the aesthetics and, and helping me with the lines of the boat to make sure they were true and fair. And uh, so her eyes and uh, my hands and we, we built the boat together. I yeah, know we were, uh, we're, we're good friends, we've been friends, work, uh, work together a little bit and we were fortunate to be able to kick some ideas off each other but I know we got help from, from others. Tell us a little bit about uh, getting some help and building your boat and, and if somebody else wanted to build a boat uh, how they'd go about uh, acquiring some of this help and knowledge to uh, to take on a project like that? Well, I think the biggest help is the Glen L Forum. Uh, it seems like every step of the boat, there's a new challenge to learn uh, an aspect of boat building. Uh, I think the, uh, the the boat building with plywood book was very instrumental in giving me the basics and the language of boat building. And then from there, when you get into it, every next step, you would get on the forum and say, Huh, what's this about? And uh, a little help or just reading on the forum. If you, you don't need any particular questions, the information is there. So it's very helpful. Okay, I think we'd like to wrap this thing up by uh, asking just a couple of questions about performance and cost. So can you tell us a little bit about what kind of performance that you get out of your boat and what a builder can expect to uh, put into uh, building a squirt? Uh, the performance on the squirt with the uh, motor I have, it's a 20 horse motor. I uh, get uh, 24, 25 um, miles per hour with two people on board. By myself, it's 27, 28. I put a prop on it that's better for uh, getting it up on plane versus speed, and I think that's a good balance. I, know I could probably get 30 miles an hour with a different prop, but I think I've got the right balance. With a small boat, um, the thrill is uh, spectacular because you're, you're right there close to the water, and you get a lot of thrill with a whole lot of or very little uh, gas being used. Okay, and how much do you think that you, uh, uh, not particularly yourself, but what, what do you think a builder would have to uh, pay to buy the materials and get a, get a boat like yours? Maybe not as detailed as yours, but, you know, a low and a high range maybe. I think the, the low end and your materials, uh, getting the marine plywood and the frames and stuff, you're, you're talking about $3,000 depending on what you get in the hardware to go along with it. And then as you decide what you want it to look like, it can escalate, escalate a little bit from there. Uh, I think I've got about 7000 that includes 1000 for a trailer, uh, the motor, and all the hardware for steering and everything. And um, so right around 7000 was what I've spent. Okay, well thanks a lot and enjoy your boat.